It was on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. I'm Luke Summerhays. I am James J. Miles. I'm Andrew Rice. James the Jaster Stewart. And you're listening to Monster Mash. And on this week's episode, we're hunting the Lava Sea off. Oh, fuck's sake. A piskine wyvern that resides in magma. Its scales are covered by layers of cooled magma, which makes it one hard nut to crack. It swims around in lava, spewing the molten rock it takes and in all its prey. Researchers love to study its peculiar way of life. <clears throat> What's the difference between magma and lava? <laughs> Uh, one is Whether underground cold, and one is it? above ground. Ah, ah there we go. Well, there's something yeah. every more some mash here, like something new. I can't tell you which one's which, mind, but <laughs> I know that's the difference. <laughs> but if it's... I mean, they could have just stopped after the first sentence, because it's a piskine wyvern that resides in magma. Yeah, pretty much that, innit? Yeah. Sorted. Shall we it's... end this episode, then? <laughs> <laughs> so where can they find us? Hey, like... kids, did you love the plezzy off? <laughs> Yeah, this is, um, and we'll get to why this is, this monster is a bit lazy, it feels, but it is more or less a subspecies that's taken a bit more of a, more of a life, um, being a fire element, lava, uh, plesy off, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. difficult to argue that, like, the difference is pretty extreme, going from just a waterfish to the lava one, but... That's what subspecies are for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it does have a few unique moves. Um, like we, 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 one. Then... <laughs> is, it literally... was... is it literally just one? Yeah, I think it's just that one where he digs underground, his head pops up and he starts spewing out See, lava I thought... or magma. Well, I mean, he, his moves do feel a bit different, but it's all just because instead of water, it's lava. Yeah. So, like, where the Plesioth does, like, his little beam of... Probably like, are being a bit harsh like, as well because there, there is a the, lot of monsters that have like base, like move sets based mm. like on the type. A lot of them will do like the standing spin, tail spin, like which Lavazio does. Like, and there's like, there's countless monsters that do that. Rathalos and Rathi and do that. So, oh yeah, there is, like, it's a core just move set there that they just kind of pick bits and mods. He's just he's just more like a Plesioth than anything else. I think it's just because the Plesioth is a bit crap. <laughs> Yep. Seeing an absolute clone of him is kind yeah. of a bit lame. Yeah. It's still the yeah, one it's... I feel out of the monsters that, that's truly lazy. Mm. Like even though you say you can say like other oh, subspecies, oh well, that's just a lazy reskin. Like they usually have something more to them, like moose wise, that make them interesting on their own right. Plus, there are subspecies at the end of the day. Yeah, and like plus there are subspecies at the end of the day there, so you're never really going to get to. Oh, it's just really lazy and all yeah. wound up about it because it, you know subspecies you're not expecting the world from them and when it is a more interesting subspecies then you actually are pleasantly surprised yeah. but Cause, like most of the idea for a subspecies anyway is because it's it's existing in a different kind of environment that's it yeah so that's yeah. why it basically kind of changes color or like status elements yeah and then uh you're, when you get a whole new monster you do expect a little bit more rather than just what we get with the the lava sea off. I mean, even the name, like last week with the Duran Boros was such an interesting name where they put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> yep. And then this time it's like they've taken the plezzy off. Put <laughs> lava. Well, for the start we said lava, yeah. <laughs> Magma the Mazioth. I don't know. Doesn't work, does it? Magma the will work, yeah. I'll just... Yeah, both work fine. I mean, that's maybe he's called the Magmazioth when he goes underground, and then when he pops up, he's the <laughs> <Magmazioth. laughs> That's he's, he's a subspecies when he's underground. <laughs> Is there nothing on the name at all then? Or... Oh, it's, it's a Plesioth fucking with lava. lava. Plesioth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you just had a change... I don't know. You just changed pl water to lava. Like, <laughs> fucking. Didn't even go for a foreign language. The um, the one, the only interesting thing about its name is that because it's in the main games, it's one of the only frontier monsters that's got an English name. Makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they've only appeared in Asia before. Just want to throw some shade at the Monster Hunter wiki here. 
Its attacks and Go. movements are vaguely similar to those of a Plesioff. <laughs> vaguely similar, mate. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Christ. Um, I mean, his armour is a lot cooler than the Plesioff, so I'll give him that. Yeah, you can't go like... wrong though with like something that's called that's got lava in its name. The armor's always going to look good. Yeah, but he's got like yeah. massive, great big shoulder pads and stuff. Whereas the Plesioth was obviously just that sort of shit blue wetsuit. <laughs> so there kind of is a bit of a reason in a way, why the, the Lava Sea Off isn't really particularly, you know, an exhilarating hunt or exhilarating monster to design-wise. design, design wise. Um, Do you want to talk a little bit about that there, Luke? So, yeah, Lava Sea Off is one of only two monsters, the other being the Hypnocatrice, uh, in the main series Monster Hunter games that actually came from Monster Hunter Frontier first. Monster Hunter Frontier being the sort of weird MMO Asia only version of Monster Hunter. Tell me more about Monster Hunter Frontier. Right, well, it's in Japan, Korea, and China, I think. But then, no, maybe not China, because China's got Monster Hunter Online, which is another one again. Fuck. Um, but it's a more online focused Monster Hunter game. Mm -hmm. And right where the Monster Hunter games are developed one at a time, they have a lot of care and love put into them and the monster designs. Monster Hunter Frontier has a new, like, version out every year, seemingly. And, like, whenever we covered another monster, we've had, like, the main subspecies that we've spoken about. And then the wiki will also list just, like, ten really half-assed recolorations from Frontier. Because <laughs> it's built, you know, as an MMO, so they have to constantly be putting out new quests and what have you. So that content's not always going to have loads of love and care and attention to it. They have just got to be, like... Right, we've coloured the monster this, and we've changed the stats to this, and chucked it in the game. Because uh, I assume it's a bit more of a grindy, from what I've seen of gameplay videos. It is a lot more numbery and grindy, and the action looked way less like involved. And... Yeah, there's a little bit of a like Peter Wynn kind of thing to the game as well, where you just like yeah. buy packs for like armor and weapons and upgrades. It's just. <sighs> It's basically not last armor. <laughs> I was gonna say. I, I, think it's, I don't think it's got very much of the main team's DNA in it. DNA in it at all, has it? Well, no. I, from I what I've seen. Doesn't sound like it at all. No. And then Monster Hunter Online is made by like an entirely different studio. So. Makes you wonder then why they chose to bring it into the main series. Hmm. Well, maybe they did actually start creating a Plesioth subspecies. And if oh look, we've actually got this model from Frontier, we might as well use it. Yeah, because I'm just checking out Hi Hi Hypnocatrice here just now, and that looks like an interesting monster. It'd be cool to find out more about that. But then you've got your your bloody have a see off, and one look at that, and I could tell you, oh great, fire, fire Plesi off, fantastic. Mm. Can't wait to fight that. He said never. <laughs> But yeah, the, the whole Frontier thing has always, like, in as much as Monster even has a canon, it's always been sort of non-canon. It's just this side project thing. Or Frontier. Because I remember, yeah, mm -hmm. I remember when Monster Hunter World was first sort of being rumoured. Because mm -hmm. <coughs> Frontier has already come out on, like, PS3, PS4, Wii U. So, like, there has been home console Monster Hunter games on, coming out. It was on Wii U. Yeah. I mean, obviously only in Japan, but yeah. I think we even had like one of them on Wii. Well, there's... So the rumour for a long time was that Monster Hunter World was going to be more like a Frontier game. Which is why I was so down on it when I was first hearing about it. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, so the Switch one will be the real Monster Hunter and this is just some shit for Westerners. Do you know what that's... Yeah. Which, well, as it happens... Monster Hunter World kind of makes you feel like that straight away because... You yeah. Think, world, you think, oh, it's going to be a massive online game. But everything I've seen and heard since that slightly confusing trailer is like, no, this is Monster Hunter 5. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Frontier's always been something a bit weird and they don't really like mention it. It's like the, the ugly stepchild or what have you. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, Lavasioff, they're like, no, no, we've got to have that in the main game. 
That's like that's the diamond in the rough. <laughs> yeah, well, it's yeah, fucking well, it's a shit fire so fish. That's the one good thing about the Vazioth. <laughs> because lava's look pretty damn cool, so when you incorporate that into a monster it's just Well yeah. truly it should have worked, but it's not. <laughs> I mean truly lava isn't pretty damn cool at all. Actually, just <laughs> once. I mean, <laughs> cool lava is just cool. Rock, <laughs> hey, I'm here all night. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hadn't didn't find any evidence of this, but I am now quite convinced of my little theory that they started work on a Plesioth subspecies and then stole the Levasio. I mean, you pulled it right out of your arse, so... <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I'm going to keep repeating it so that be no in the future, it end, in the future, people are going to quote it like it's fact. <laughs> That's how these things start. Well, when you start writing this... Post-truth, mate. Post -truth. I was going to say, Monster Mask getting in the whole fake news phenomenon here, eh? Sorry, I'm going to release the emails tomorrow that say <laughs> that uh, I invented the Levasio. Uh, by the time this gets uploaded, that joke's going to be so... <laughs> So next week, the Monster Mash boys are going to continue turning the heat up on you, and I'm going to give you a sneak beak as to our next monster. It's the Ignactor. So join us for that one there next week. Um, until then, though, there, Luke, where can they find us? Well, we're on Twitter at Monster Mash Pod. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, all of that. Please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and rate and review and give us a five star and forgive us for putting you through 15 minutes on the fucking Levasio. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were about to go into the Lord's Prayer then. I don't know. <laughs> and, uh... and if you'd like to tweet at AndyMan949, one of the pictures you've already tweeted at him, just colour it in red. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, I'm really looking forward for Red Gary Barlow walking up for the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for that one. But until then, thank you for listening. See ya. Goodbye. Oh, that's a two. Oh, why are we doing two of these bloody bastards? Because they take about six seconds. Yeah, but they're really fucking boring. I, I also haven't finished done. the armor set yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh but nobody was pinched by a cat. Yeah, they kind of go into areas. He made us fucking fight this prick on Sunday as well. Right, fuck. It's going to be up there with the bloody catcher. Stop moaning. I like the catcher, he's a fun enough fight at least. This is just Plesioth. He does, does the old hip check. Not even that, fun, just it? fucking fat Plesioth. Like, oh, it's a Plesioth which you can hit even more. And that takes fucking more damage to kill. Yay! <sighs> Zero out of ten. <laughs> Would not harm again. Well, after tonight, we won't have to until we do it on Switch. Unless I've got it on my fucking quest list. Like maybe it's in a fucking triple monster quest. Then I'll have to do it. What an asshole. He jumped in the air just before I could get in my uh, final move. Well, there's another thing to chuck on the reasons not to pick up uh, Cross Cross on the Switch. list. you know, it's, it's You'll be Throw up handy. I'll talk, I'll talk myself out of it, eventually. I'm trying to spam the fucking attack. <laughs> Still won't die quick enough. I'm just trying to attack the spam. Well, oh, good. Oh, these, these take longer than you think, by the way. No, we know they take longer than we think. We do it on fucking Sunday. Somebody's you know, fucking look, just said they take like 30 seconds or whatever. Yeah, he's lying. I know he's, he's lying. Extra content to edit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love editing that content, let me tell you. Yeah, the one attack he's doing there is the one that makes him definitely crazy. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow
my god, it hits. Then you did. Yeah, fish chunks. Mm-mm-mm. It's good in my belly. I like my fish spicy. 